Okay, in this video we're going to be talking about how to evaluate a, uh, an expression like sine of 2 theta or cosine of 2 theta or tangent of 2 theta. We're going to do all three of these given some information here of what 1 theta is. So not 2 theta, they just give us a single theta. So in this kind of a problem, what we want to do first is we need to look at the information that's given. So what I notice is they tell me the cosine of the angle is 5 13 and I also see this over here and it says 3 pi over 2 over is less than theta is less than 2 pi. And what that does is that tells me the quadrant. I know this is between then 270 and 360 degrees. That's the fourth quadrant. So I'm going to start off by drawing a triangle and when I draw this triangle I'm going to draw it in the fourth quadrant and there's theta and here's what I know. The cosine of that angle is 5 13 5 13 is the adjacent of the hypotenuse. This tells me then if I use Pythagorean theorem I could solve for the third side it happens to be 12. It's 12. But you know what? This is also negative, isn't it? So maybe I need to put that in. In fact, I'm going to do that in red because that's pretty important. That y coordinate goes down, right? All right. So with this in mind, then, I need to find sine of 2 theta. So if I'm asked to find sine of 2 theta, I would have to draw back on my double angle formulas. And what I will find out is that that's equal to 2 sine theta cosine theta. So if I wanted to evaluate what sine of 2 theta was, knowing what cosine of 1 theta is, I just need to plug in the following things. I look up at my triangle and I see sine theta here. I'm going to replace that now with the fraction of negative 12 thirteenths. Negative because it's in the fourth quadrant, right? Negative because the y coordinate goes downward. Cosine of theta is 5 thirteenths. Yeah, well, of course I knew that, right? They gave that to me. So, when I put this all in, now it's just a matter of multiplying out those fractions. So 2 times negative 12 thirteenths times positive 5 thirteenths, that ends up being negative 120 over 169. That's the exact value. Okay, let's do the same thing for cosine of 2 theta. The cosine of 2 theta, whereas earlier I had the cosine of 1 theta, the cosine of 2 theta can be found using any of three different numbers, three different formulas. It doesn't matter which one you use. So I'll just go ahead and use cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. So I'm just going to pick the top one. Okay. So uh, with this in mind, then what I need to do is I need to figure out what cosine theta is. I need to figure out what sine theta is. And I'm going to square those, both those values and I'm subtract them. Cosine of theta is negative, or excuse me, is positive 5 thirteenths. And the sine of theta is equal to negative 12 thirteenths. Of course, I'm going to square that, so it's going to get rid of a negative, right? So now it's just a matter of multiplying these fractions out. 5 thirteenths squared would be 25 over 169 minus, and even though this is negative, the square is going to go take care of that. 12 over 13 squared is 144 over 169, and that means that 25 over 169 minus 144 over 69 is negative 119 over 169. And there's my value of cosine of 2 theta. That's what it's actually equal to. Now let's do it one more time. Tangent of 2 theta. Now I have one formula I'm going to use there. The tangent of 2 theta is 2 tangent theta over 1 minus tangent squared theta. That's coming off the formula sheet, right? So now that I know that, I need to plug in then for tangent theta fraction and 1 minus that same fraction squared. I look up here and I see the tangent of theta is negative 12 over 5. Negative 12 over 5, negative 12 over 5. You see the negative is going to, going to make a difference up here. Down here it's really not going to make a difference because the square is going to take care of it, right? All right, so 12 times negative 5, or negative 12 fifths times 2, excuse me, is negative 24 fifths. That's all over 1 minus, and 12 fifths squared ends up being 144 over 25. Now I just need to reduce that. That ends up being negative 24 over 5. And that's all divided by negative 119 over 25, which ends up giving me a final answer of, I'm going to flip this and multiply, so I'm going to say that's times a negative 25 over 119. That way I don't have to worry about this, right? The negatives go away. I see, in fact, I even have a 5 and a 25 reduced down a little bit. And in the end, I end up with 24 times 5 divided by 119. That would be 120 over 119, just a little bit over 1. And that's the tangent of 2 theta. 
Now let's go do the same thing over here. Looks like I'm going to use a different colored pen. We'll try to make this quick. Same idea. I'm going to go a little bit faster. Ready? Sine view is 3 fifths. It's between 0 and pi over 2. That would be first quadrant. I'm going to draw a triangle in the first quadrant. It's going to have a sine of 3 fifths, which means that the third side is 4. All right, here we go. Sine of 2 theta is equal to 2 sine theta cosine theta. In this case, that means that it's equal to 2 times the sine of theta, which is 3 fifths, times the cosine of theta, which is 4 fifths. And that turns out to be, if you multiply it all out, it turns out to be 24 20 fifths. Next problem, cosine of 2 theta is cosine squared minus sine squared. So that being said, that would be the cosine is 4 fifths and the sine is 3 fifths. If I square 4 fifths, I get 16 20 fifths. That is minus 9 20 fifths, which is grand total of 7 20 fifths. And if I do tangent of 2 theta, that's 2 tangent theta over 1 minus tangent squared theta. That would be 2 times a fraction, 1 minus that same fraction squared. The tangent of theta is 3 fourths. I see that I got some stuff here that actually goes away. That makes it pretty simple, right? The top is just 3 halves. The bottom is 1 minus 9 sixteenths. That's 16 sixteenths minus 9 sixteenths. So really I need to replace that. I can replace that then with maybe 16 minus 9 is 7. So 7 sixteenths. And rather than divide by 7 sixteenths, I can multiply by 16 over 7. And it turns out that I, was, I end up with a, uh, an answer here of, geez, did I do that right? Yeah, I did that right. Okay. Those go down a little bit. 3 times 8 is 24 over 7. And there's my answer for tangent of 2 theta.